Many store-bought lip balms like Blistex and Chapstick contain ingredients like phenol, saturin, parabens, fragrance, oxybenzone, which is the chemical used in sunscreens and has been found to be a hormone disruptor in the body, mineral oil, paraffin, and even petroleum, which are very toxic to us. Because of this, lip balms were one of the first things I swapped out at the very beginning when I started living a more natural, low-waste lifestyle. Now, I'm a compulsive lip biter, so whenever I'm unsure, anxious or bored, I bite and pick at my lips. So having this lip balm handy has helped heal my lips right up, as it contains nourishing ingredients that sit on my lips for hours, helping them stay soft, smooth and hydrated. Having this cream on also helps me to break the habit of biting my lips, as it's too slippery on my skin for me to pick at. When making this lip balm, to make a thicker, longer lasting balm, use 1 to 2 extra teaspoons of wax, or for a smoother, softer lip balm, use slightly less wax. As there are no water based ingredients in this recipe, you can re melt and add more of each ingredient during the melting process until you get the exact consistency and texture you want. I don't recommend using soy wax as it's very challenging to find a completely clean soy wax that's been made from 100% organic soy. They often add chemicals like paraffin to the wax or it comes from GMO soy. I found candelilla wax to be a great vegan alternative to beeswax and it works just as well. If you want to make it a healing lip balm, add in 2 teaspoons of calendula infused oil instead of coconut oil to enhance the balm's healing properties. To make this all natural homemade lip balm, begin by making a double boiler by placing a small saucepan filled with a couple of inches of water over medium heat and bring the water to a boil. Next, place a heat safe bowl that fits on top of the saucepan on top. The bottom of the bowl should not be touching the water below. Then add in 2 teaspoons of coconut oil, 2 teaspoons of shea butter and 2 teaspoons of candelilla wax or beeswax to the bowl and stir regularly until melted. Remove the saucepan from heat but keep the bowl over the still hot water to keep the mixture melted. Then allow the mixture to cool slightly before adding in the 5 drops of vitamin E oil and 20 drops of essential oil of choice. I use lavender, and stir that through. From there, immediately begin transferring the hot mixture into your empty lip balm containers using a teaspoon. This must be done quickly, as the mixture will start to harden as soon as it's removed from heat. Once filled, let the containers sit at room temperature for several hours until completely cool. Then place the lids on and store in places where they'll be on hand to use when needed. I keep one in my backpack, one in my handbag, one in my purse, and one in my bathroom. Glass or tin containers are a preferred option to store this lip balm in, as plastic containers leach chemicals into whatever's stored inside, particularly if stored for long periods of time, or if the contents are fatty or hot. I hope you enjoyed this simple DIY tutorial for making an all-natural lip balm recipe for silky, soft, smooth lips. Let me know if you try this recipe yourself, or if you have another favourite recipe for homemade lip balm, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I'm sending you big hugs and so much love. Take care and I'll see you soon again.